Greetings and salutations, guys. It's been a while for me for a new video, and I thought today would be appropriate. Yeah, it's appropriate for this time of year. All hell is coming up next week. It's a uh, it's a happy occasion for the pagans, which is an occultist. That's our new year. You know, that's our time to transition into a new year, a new awakening, a new birth of consciousness. And so it is today that uh, I'm filming from where? Of course, you can see in the background a cemetery. It is a place of quiet and rest, rejuvenation. That's also why I'm speaking softly. The dead are to be respected and honored. And that's also what this time of year is about. It's about honoring those who have gone before. We hold respect for them. And when, uh, when we're in this place of quiet and rest, we must respect them here also. The bodies may be gone, but the memories still lie. They remember too. The ones who've gone, yeah, they remember. Their spirits remember. Their spirits remember. That's why, you know, one of the, I don't know what it is with me, maybe it's just, it's a natural thing that happened to me through my course of experience. Uh, I feel, I'm a feeler, so I feel things a lot more than I see. And when I'm standing here with these people, I feel the energy. Yes, the energy of death. For death is a transitioning time. The person's no longer there. It doesn't mean that their signature is not still implanted. And that's what it is. It's the signature of those who've gone before. Their energy lies here. You know, the bodies are gone. But again, that spiritual energy is still here, resting and rejuvenating and waiting for its time, waiting for the time of its next phase of consciousness. And on the night of October 31st, All Hallows, that's when we revere them, for that is the date of the year when the veil between this world here, the seen, and that world there, the unseen, is at its thinnest. And it allows for a better communication with those who've gone before. That's why when we do our ritual and open up that circle, we're inviting them to come to our circle, come share the firelight that we prepared for them. Come share in the festival that honors them. That's what it means. And it makes me happy, it really does, to, uh, to take in that festival, to take in the energy. It's such a wonderful, wonderful feeling to know that my spirit is transitioning. My body is still here right now, but my, my spirit is going to be ever transitioning. And that again, that's another part of the symbolism of all hallows. It's just it's not just a transitioning phase for the dead and for those who've gone before. It's a transition for us too. It's a changing of the card, you might say. So we use our rituals, myth, and symbolism to help make that happen. You know, man has a a need to put a definition on things and labels and, and so it can know, so it can identify things. And so we use these rituals. The rituals, rites, and ceremonies of all hallows to create an other world. I mean, we do that anyway when we cast a circle. It's a world between the worlds, but we create another little world inside there. You know, where we can invite those who've gone before. They can cross that threshold. And we actually, through what we do, we are opening up that veil even further. 
And that's what it means to celebrate All Hallows in, in traditional pagan fashion. And, uh, and again, it's about that energy of transition, of changing consciousness. And that's what we celebrate. And it just, as a pagan, as a witch, as a Wiccan, it just, it really excites me. It really does. I mean, I can't, excuse me, I can't express it enough. It just, it's like my favorite holiday of the year. And I'm sure for many of you out there, it is also your favorite time of year. Did you hear that? I did. It sounded like a bitch. She called me. <laughs> yep. So, I want you all to just take what I've said here today and reflect on that. And leave your comments down in the comments section under the video. Tell me what you think. What does All Hallows mean to you? I mean, what does it represent to you? How do you feel about the energy of the year? Get excited about it if you want, like I do. I love you guys. I love all of you. Blessed be. And Mary Part, and may the four winds be with you.